45. Let's go over to First Alert meteorologist Ella Dorsey, giving us a look at just how much snow has fallen in uh, other states, Ella. Totally. Th th this system dropped a ton of snow. This is a crazy map. You can see a lot of snow across the Tennessee Valley. The state of Tennessee getting up to a foot of snow in some areas. Unfortunately, we didn't see any snow here. I know many of the kiddos probably wanted that snow. We just had rain, and most of that rain is now moving out. Okay, so zooming into Metro Atlanta. It is now mostly dry. We're starting to get some reports of some icy sidewalks, but in general, uh, the ice threat will be low for the remainder of the day today, especially because we are now dry across pretty much all of North Georgia. Here's your current temperatures still in the upper 30s to low 40s east of the city. Atlanta's now sitting at 33 degrees, but look, just a few counties away in Dallas, it's 23 degrees. It's 23 in Canton, so that really cold air is seeping into the state. This is the warmest it's going to be today. The temperature it is outside where you are right now, that is the warmest it will be. In fact, I expect temperatures to fall by a couple more degrees through the afternoon. By noon, it feels like 13 degrees with the wind. By 4 p.m., it feels like 14 by 8 p.m. tonight, it feels like 7 degrees. Guys, this is the coldest night that we have had by far, by far in over a year. Here's your wind chills. You can see from about 8 p.m. all the way through the overnight hours, feels like temperatures are in the single digits. That's the reason for the wind chill advisory. This is very rare that we get a wind chill advisory here in Metro Atlanta. So this extends from 5 p.m. today until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Again, wind chills will be as low as zero degrees. That can cause hypothermia in 30 minutes. So you gotta be taking this seriously. seriously. You gotta think about your pets as well. They get very cold as well, okay? Actual lows through the overnight hours will be in the teens. So tomorrow, Morning will be the coldest it will feel outside. Wind dies down tomorrow. We jump back into the upper 30s. So it actually, compared to today, tomorrow afternoon will feel quite a bit nicer. Still quite cold. You'll still need all the winter wear uh, through the day tomorrow. We'll get a brief break from the cold towards the end of the week. And then another Arctic blast arrives this weekend. Both Saturday and Sunday, guys, we're back in the teens. So we're going to see a repeat of what we're seeing right now. Again, Friday night into Saturday. I don't expect icy roads and precipitation, but we'll see a little bit of overnight rain and then that Arctic air arrives. So today is going to be frigid, guys. 32, that is the warmest temperature of the day today. Overnight, we're in the teens. First alert for wind chills as low as zero degrees tomorrow morning. A brief break from the cold on Thursday, then another Arctic blast arrives Friday. By this weekend, especially on Saturday, it is going to be frigid. Saturday could actually end up being colder than it is outside today.